gerbils, kitty cats, puppies? There are animals you'd like to meet, but some? Crikey. There are some you don't want to cross paths with. There are some creatures that are truly haunting. These are terrifying animals you wouldn't want to encounter. Number 15. Star-Nosed Mole Imagine seeing an animal with the following features in your nightmares. Wide, outward-facing feet with talons, a long and hairy tail, and tentacles on its face. You'd surely wake up screaming, sweating, and call it out for your mom. <laughs> The star-nosed mole may be small, but its unique features make it an animal you probably wouldn't want to have a meet-and-greet session with. They are native to eastern North America, which includes the northeastern United States and southeastern Canada. They tend to live in places with poor drainage, so you can probably discover them in deciduous and coniferous forests, marshes, peatlands, and wet meadows. Not only is the star-nosed mole unique in its looks, but its behavior as well. They tunnel through swampy areas to build underground spaces to live. They are also semi-aquatic, so they can remain underwater for over half a second. Even in winter, they've got their water wings, and they can swim under the ice in search of something delicious to eat. But let's not overlook that massive star-shaped thing on its face. They use this nose for locating prey as they contain 22 tentacles with about 25,000 touch receptors known as Elmer's organs. These are useful for touching up to 12 objects in a single second. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. The Charybdis, and no, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, is a legendary sea monster that was believed to live under a small rock on one side of an extremely narrow channel. It was said that roughly three times a day, it would swallow a huge amount of water and then vomit it back up again. You wouldn't want to cross paths with that, would you? Especially not if you were sailing. Later myths even claim the, and no, I'm not not gonna try and pronounce it again, was the daughter of Gaia and Poseidon. Though its exact size remains unknown, if it did exist, it's thought it could have been up to 75 feet across. Yikes, that's boat-eatingly big. Comment down below with the hashtag oddtopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. California Condor If you have ornithophobia or the fear of birds, then you're gonna want to look away. If small birds make you run away screaming, then the California Condor will probably make you paralyzed with fear. Wow, what a pleasure. Thought to be the largest flying bird in North America, the California condor measures almost 10 feet across from wingtip to wingtip. Their huge wings allow them to fly as high as 15,000 feet, even though they aren't exactly light, weighing up to 31 pounds. They gain much of this weight through their diet, which consists of the carcasses of large animals like deer and cattle. Even though this bird is nothing short of terrifying, you have to feel at least a little bit sorry for it. They are on the verge of extinction, so captive breeding is taking place to ensure they can stay around for as long as possible. If you stand any chance of seeing them in person, or you want to know where not to go to avoid them, you will find them in central Southern California deserts. There are also small populations of this mammoth bird in Mexico, Utah, and Arizona. Number 13. Blobfish Give us one word to describe the blobfish. We'll start. Ew. That's right. Ew. It's the mighty megalo blob. The blobfish is a deep sea fish that lives in deep waters around Tasmania and the mainland of Australia. You can even find them in waters around New Zealand. In saying that, most people won't be able to find them because of where they live. 
This 12-inch fish lives at depths of between 2,000 and 3,900 feet below the ocean's surface. The pressure there is up to 120 times that of at sea level, which is perhaps why their bodies are so gross. They lack muscle, which is where they get the name blobfish from. So basically, they're a gelatinous mass. Oddly enough though, they don't look as blobby as they seem in photos when they are in their natural environment. The immense pressure allows them to maintain their form of an actual fish. They end up looking more like a bony fish than a blobby one. It's only once they are hauled up accidentally in bottom trawling fish nets that they decompress and become a blobby mess because of the pressure change. Number 12. Naked Mole Rat A lot of people get squeamish when they see a rat caught in a trap in their home. Surprisingly, rat phobias are some of the most common. But imagine how much more fear you'd have if you caught a naked mole rat in a trap. They are far more terrifying than the average wild rat you see running through back alleys in nearby fields. Naked mole rats are mammals that grow up to 13 inches long with a 3-inch tail. They weigh up to around 3.3 pounds and live in colonies in burrows around eastern Africa. There's definitely nothing attractive about this creature, which is why many people are scared of it. They have hairless, tubular-like bodies and giant teeth that make them look a little bit like walruses. Imagine stumbling across a massive colony of them. They would give you nightmares for life. Fortunately, the naked mole rat doesn't have a taste for human flesh. They are herbivores and use their giant teeth to gather roots and bulbs. They also like to forage for seeds and plants, which they share with their entire colony. Number 11. Proboscis Monkey there are a lot of monkey species out there, but many don't have features that make you recoil in horror. One that might, though, is the proboscis monkey. If you've got a weak stomach, you probably don't want to see one of these monkeys in person. They grow up to around 28 inches tall and 50 pounds and are endemic to the jungles of Borneo. They tend to prefer living around rivers, swamps, and coastal mangroves where they have access to plenty of water and food. That might be why they are also excellent swimmers. They can leap from trees and hit the water with a belly flop. But it's not their Michael Phelps-like moves that'll have you curious about these monkeys, it's their noses. Male proboscis monkeys have fleshy, pendulous noses that they use to attract mates. Absurd, I know. Scientists have a suspicion that these giant organs form a kind of echo chamber that allows their calls to their lady friends to be heard far and wide. The louder the sound, the more intimidating they are to their rivals as well. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, there aren't all that many opportunities to see these monkeys up close and personal. Their numbers are dwindling due to rainforest clearing, predators, and people who consider them a delicacy to eat. Number 10. Warthog. If there's one animal that's not about to take first prize in a beauty contest, it's the warthog. If their name is anything to go by, you just know they aren't going to be attractive. Warthogs have broad, flat heads that look like they're covered in warts. Instead, these bumps are just a form of protection. Not that they need it, since they have four sharp tusks to use to defend themselves. While warthogs are mostly bald, they tend to have a little amount of hair, especially around their backs that sometimes produce a thick mane. And if you think they couldn't get any more attractive, these 150-pound animals have funny-shaped heads and eyes set wide apart. They almost seem a little bit ferocious, except they're not. Warthogs are grazers and use their snouts to dig out roots and bulbs. Their diet consists of grass and plants rather than humans. Phew. If you're going to encounter them anywhere, then it'll be in southwestern Ethiopia and southern Sudan. But you don't stand a chance of catching one because they can run up to 30 miles per hour. Number 9. Aye Aye 
If you are to believe everything you hear, then the I.I. is not an animal you would want to encounter. And it's not because they're a giant, man-eating monster with an insatiable appetite. It's because, according to the native people of Madagascar, where the I.I. is from, they are an ill-luck omen. Because of this, their numbers are at risk, as people would be inclined to kill them on sight to avoid being a victim of that ill luck. But aside from that, there really isn't a lot to be afraid of. Just using that finger to dig out. These small 17-inch critters are related to chimps, apes, and humans, and have a constant look of surprise on their face. They have large ears, big eyes, a huge, bushy tail, and long, slender fingers. They also have long claws on their fingers and toes to help them dangle from branches. The only place you'll spot the eye eye is in Madagascar, and they tend to live in rainforest trees for most of their life. You will rarely see them on the ground. They are also nocturnal, so they'll sleep the day away in a nest of leaves before eating coconut flesh and insects during the night. Number 8. Monkfish we haven't even begun to get a good idea of the majority of creatures lurking in our oceans. It's just too vast. But is that the only reason? Maybe we've been that terrified by what we've already discovered that scientists are just saying, no thanks, that's enough. The monkfish is one such creature to add fuel to the fire of that theory. This terrifying looking fish also goes by the name of Sea Devil, and that's not at all surprising. They have broad, flat, depressed, large heads and a body that looks like more of an afterthought. They also have long bands of pointed teeth and little fins that can function as feet. When they want something to eat, they'll hide in the sand or seaweed, then launch themselves out to devour their prey whole. If that's not the fish to appear in your nightmares, then we don't know what is. Worst of all, they can grow up to four and a half feet long. And they are meat eaters. Could we possibly be on the menu? I don't know about you, but this fish isn't one I'd like to meet if I can help it. Number seven, Marabou Stork. The Marabou Stork is the unofficial bird of Uganda. But that's not its only title. It's also thought to be one of the ugliest animals in the world. They have skinny white legs, a white tuft of hair on their heads, and a large bill with a pink gular sack by their throat. The marabou stork also seems quite out of proportion with its massive wings, stumpy little body, and its long legs. They are native to tropical Africa and tend to live around grasslands, wetlands, and semi-arid savannas. They are also exceptionally social birds, so they often put themselves in areas they can interact with humans like garbage dumps and fishing villages. But there's one thing in particular that'll make you raise an eyebrow about this bird. And it's not just their appearance. They're a little bit sadistic. You know the saying, like a moth to a flame? Uh, well, that needs to be changed to, like a marabou stork to a flame. When they see fire, they swoop down on animals trying to flee it because they're an easy snack. What a horrifying creature. Number 6. Southern Elephant Seal Southern elephant seals are large animals that live in Antarctic and sub-Antarctic waters rich in fish and squid. While they breed on land, they have no qualms about taking a dip in ice-cold waters like some kind of sadists. But aside from their strange living arrangements, these elephant seals are actually quite absurd in most other ways. They have trunk-like inflatable snouts and don't tend to have too much definition to their bodies. Instead, they are a 20-foot long sausage that can weigh as much as 8,800 pounds. Even how they mate is a little odd. Males will form a harem of up to 50 females, then battle it out with other males for dominance. Sometimes their roars and postures are enough to send other males running. Other times, a bloody and violent battle can ensue. But even humans fight for the ones they love, so you can't blame them, really. After wooing, females will give birth to a single pup 11 months later. She will then nurse it for a month while living off her blubber reserves to avoid having to leave her baby to get something to eat. Number 5. Horseshoe Bat 
Bats haven't exactly been most people's favorite animal lately. We're not going to subject them to any further shame, but a certain virus might involve a specific animal. But I digress. The horseshoe bat is not an animal you'd want to encounter for another reason. They are one of nearly 80 insect-eating bats and have a strange-looking leaf nose that doesn't look like that of most other bats. Oddly enough, scientists aren't even sure what it's for, but think it might have something to do with their echolocation calls. Horseshoe bats live in many parts of the world, including the temperate and tropical regions of Africa, Asia, Japan, and Europe. They can be red or brown and tend to grow up to around 4.3 inches long with a 1.8 inch tail. Because they're relatively small, they only weigh around one ounce. If you want to know where not to visit so you don't have to see them, then avoid caves and similar dark, damp places. You're also unlikely to see them in winter as they hibernate in temperate regions. As interesting as these bats are, we just can't get past their ugly nose. Number 4. Red-Lipped Batfish the red-lipped batfish looks like a fish that'll soon be asking to speak to your manager. Give her a Karen haircut, armor with a handbag, and she'll be storming into your office in no time. This fish really does look as comical as our hilarious and humble writers have made it sound. It's all in the name, really. This fish, which lives around the Galapagos Islands, looks like it's wearing red lipstick. It has bright ruby red lips, which stand out in contrast to its rather dull and boring brown body. But this fish has to have something good going for it because it's not exactly full to the brim with talent. It can't swim all that well, so it stumbles along using its pelvic and pectoral fins as legs. It also has a fleshy anal fin, which it uses as a propeller. Because clearly, having red lipstick on it isn't a unique enough feature for this poor fish. And let's not forget the strange, long thing that sits between its eyes. It has a hairy horn. That's right, a hairy horn right between its eyes. To be honest, we kinda do want to encounter this terrifying animal just to see if it's actually real. Number 3. Hyena when you hear people talking about hyenas, they often call them cowardly, disgusting, scavenging, and ugly creatures that they wouldn't want to see in person. And sure, they are scavenging, but all those other descriptions? We're not so sure. We like to think of them as the janitors of the wild. Hyenas have incredibly strong digestive juices and even stronger jaws. They use these powers for good. Come on! Come on! Come on, Dragon! Rather than leave any tidbit of their food behind, they can eat an entire carcass, except for the hair, to prevent the spread of disease. Of course, that's not why they do it, but it's a nice little fact, isn't it? Hyenas also break down bones in their bodies, which they release back into the environment, in their poo, obviously, as calcium. Tortoises can then come along and eat this to strengthen their shells. Everyone wins. What's more, they are scavengers, so they'll clean up whatever food other animals left behind. If they can't find any, they'll take down the sick or old animals in a herd, which ultimately strengthens the herd. Someone give this animal a medal. Number 2. Mexican Burrowing Toad as the name suggests, the quite absurd-looking Mexican burrowing toad is a frog species from the genus Rhinophrynus that, well, burrows. They live in southern Texas, but you can also find this strange little guy in Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, and even Costa Rica. When you get up close to him, and we don't recommend it, you will see why we think this is an animal you don't want to encounter. They aren't, shall we say, aesthetically pleasing. They have a bloated body with a red stripe, short legs, and a tiny pointed head. They even have little shovels on their feet they use for digging. Isn't evolution remarkable? What sets them apart from other frogs, too, is their tongue. Most frogs have a tongue that flips out, 
but this one has one that comes directly out of the front of its mouth. They spend most of their life underground, but they will venture out into the water to lay their eggs. If you happen to surprise one, you might hear it make a strange and loud, low-pitched noise that sounds like, whoa, you'll be just as surprised to see it as it is to see you. Number 1. Anglerfish Living in the lonely, lightless, and downright terrifying depths of the sea is quite possibly one of the ugliest fish you will ever see. The anglerfish. Just one glimpse at it, and you'll start to wonder if its looks are the reason it lives where it does, probably banished by other, more attractive fish. The anglerfish constantly looks like it has a bone to pick with you. They live around a mile below the surface in the Atlantic and Antarctic oceans, and we hope they stay right there. They have massive heads, huge jaws, and these are filled with lots and lots of sharp teeth. Even more terrifying is the fact that they aren't small like piranhas. Instead, they can grow up to around 3.3 feet long. Angry, bitey, and huge. That's just great. To be honest though, they are pretty intriguing fish. Females have a dorsal spine coming out of their mouths that looks a lot like a fishing pole. On the end is a piece of luminous flesh which it uses to lure in prey. A fish doing the fishing? How absurd. Well, that was interesting to say the least. We all know the human race is quite diverse, but the animal kingdom is just full of surprises. Have you encountered any of these terrifying animals in person? Which one would you not be afraid to have a face-to-face -face meeting with? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!